Um, J.K. Rowling says, you know, this is just freedom of speech and belief are at an end in Scotland if the accurate description of biological sex is deemed criminal. She says, I'm currently out of the country, but if what I've written here qualifies as an offence under the terms of the new act, I look forward to being arrested when I return to the birthplace of the Scottish Enlightenment. And then the hashtag arrest me. Should J.K. Rowling be arrested? Well, of course, it's not a criminal offence to talk about facts. It's not a criminal offence to criticise um, or to question government legislation. Um, so, for example, the, um, the, the, the gender recognition reform um, that, that, that was passed in the Scottish Parliament um, and that, that, that has since been blocked by the UK. Um, I mean, that was something um, that J.K. Rowling, um, you know, tended to focus on. Uh, but I, I just find it very interesting because, I mean, the whole point of this legislation is to give people a level playing field to make sure um, that, you know, that people are protected against hate and that, you know, that people aren't being discriminated against. I mean, J.K. Rowling, um, you know, as a woman who's used her wealth um, in order to, to try and silence her critics, um, has so, she? How has she done I mean, that? I mean, I mean, she says she's a how, how has she done speech, that? Often? But at the end of the day, when people are being critical of her, um, she's tended she's tends to use her wealth um, in order to bring against legal action. How? Or, you know, against people who criticise her. She hasn't. I mean, what, I mean, lots of people like me have been saying she's been, she should have been suing people left, right, and centre. People calling her a transphobe and other slurs on 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 social media, and she hasn't been. Yeah. You said it's not a criminal offence to talk facts. And yet, a government minister with the SNP has, in the last two days, said yes, it would be it would they, they would be understandable if the police, and very likely under the new law, the police Scotland could interview, could probe an investigation into someone saying that a particular trans man, sorry, trans woman, was a man. That that would be considered hate speech. Well, um. Anything that is reported to the police, you know, would have, a, you know, a degree um, of investigation, you know, and um, um, how far that Should how it? far that goes. What a waste of police um, time. Well, how far that goes um, would be up to the police, but the police, um, you know, would, would take any complaint um, made to them um, seriously, um, and and they would then assess that. Um, and, and then decide what the best course of action um, would be moving forward. I mean, as we know, you know, when it comes to protected characteristics, um, for example, uh, you know, when it comes to race, you know, it was 1986 that that legislation, you know, has been introduced. This is something, you know, uh, that, that the police, you know, are familiar with. Well, why did we need a new law? Why did we need a new law that, that, that protects the characteristics of someone being trans, but it doesn't protect women? They're saying they're going to, as, as Rosa Duffel pointed point out, bring in uh, another law. I mean, I don't, why do why do we need more protection? We talk a lot about you know, people you know, taking offence and hate speech, but I mean, I, I'm not a free speech absolutist. I don't want people being abusive and things. But but we already have to. You know, if you abuse someone or threaten someone, particularly if they have protected characteristics and trans comes under that, then then you're already breaking the law. Why do we need a new law that's specific about hate speech? Yeah, um, I mean, so, so, so for example, I mean, uh, it's about extending existing laws. So, I mean, if you look at, uh, say, the Equality well, Act of 2010, there's lots of, you know, there's lots of legislation there already, you know, um, you know that, that that does protect um, characteristics and, for example, same-sex species, which, by the way, you know, is extremely important to somebody who who supports the, the gender recognition reform. Um, I also absolutely um, agree that there has to be you know, um, single sex spaces, you know, in circumstances, say, so say, for example, Ayla Bryson, you know, who J.K. Rowling, you know, chose to, um, you know, um, chose to use as an example, um, you know. Ayla Bryson was day, a double rapist. She was going to be put into yes. a women's prison, even though Ayla Bryson is a man, because you, yeah. you can't rape unless you've got a penis, and if you've got a penis, you're a man. Yeah. Ah, now, but, but Nicholas Sturgeon anyone never accepted sense. that he was a man. Well, anyone with common sense would know that that person shouldn't have been in a that female person? prison. And I'm glad that the Scottish Sorry, can I, can I ask it? No that person that. or that man? Sorry? You said that person, that. Ida Bryson. That person or that man? He's well, a yeah, man. I mean, I, mean, I, I just to say that person. Why can't uh, you say I, I, man? Because, because regardless, you know... The, the, no, 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 it does matter. He's a man. He's got a penis. He used his penis to violently sexually assault two women. He's been convicted of that. He can call himself Isla. He can put a blonde wig on and leggings on, but he's a man because women can't rape. Women, women don't have penises. They can't rape. So why do you say person instead of man? Well, um, I say person because that's how I would refer to anyone. It, it, it's, it's nothing to do with how they identify as, you know, as a person. Um, I just use the terminology person. 
and but, you know um, when I was chosen to escape. Are you happy to use you know, the word man? Escape, I have a are you happy to use the word man? No, I would just describe no. as, a, as a person. I, I, you can't I tend, say man. I, you can't call speech, a rapist a man. I tend not to use pronouns, you know, um, in my general speech. Um, I, I tend to say that person. Because because the reason I do that is because it's about focusing on the crime um, that that person had committed. As Nicholas Sturgeon said, all know, that, that person is a rapist. Would know that that person should not have been in a female prison. I'm glad that, that the Scottish Prison Service that uh, rectified that and they should be in the male estate. So that's yeah. something, you know... But this is where we get into. Would, OK, this is where we sense. get into. OK, you know he's a man, I know he's a man. I know that you know that I know that you know he's a man. We're, we're, into, we're into joke territory here. And this is why people think that politicians are all completely loopy now when they do this and they play these silly games. So one reason why Nicholas Serge is out of office, it's why Humza Yusuf is a laughing stock, Keir Starmer a laughing stock for a lot this a lot of people very resentful of Rishi Sunak for saying at party conference, you know, a man is a man's woman's woman, but not doing anything about it, saying he supports J.K. Rowling, but not doing anything about it. At the end of the day, women like me, like J.K. Rowling and others, and men, uh, they will make statements of fact, and you said we shouldn't have a criminal offence for talk, saying, saying facts, but they will be investigated by the police. And as many have said, the process is actually the punishment. You can have your phones taken away, it's accusation, people face losing their jobs because they won't state the abject lie that, it, that a man is a woman or can become a woman. Um, but, but you think that this law is fine. It's not a problem because it won't criminalise those people. We've already got non-crime hate incidents in, across the UK, but, you know, and certainly in England, we've got hundreds of thousands of people who've got records against them. We've had Murdo Fraser, Scottish MSP, who's had the Free Speech Union working behind him to get a non-crime hate incident he wasn't even aware of, struck from his record. Even if J.K. Rowling or me were not actually found guilty or the CPS refused to actually carry through a, uh, an, a, a, a proper criminal prosecution, we could still have a non-crime hate incident recorded against us for stating a biological fact. You think that's OK? Well, um, let's take the Murdo Fraser um, you know, example. Um, is that this happened before uh, this legislation uh, was brought in. Um, so uh, that has absolutely nothing to do um, you know, uh, with the legislation. Um, no, but it could happen tomorrow. Today. Well, uh, but, but it's already happened, um, so it had nothing to do with the legislation that's just that, that's been passed and brought into force and, um, you know, yesterday. As I say, that was something that had already happened before this legislation uh, was put in place. So you can't blame this legislation for something that happened. But we've already got that situation. OK, let me Sorry? just ask you just finally, OK, look, if we don't know what a man is and we don't know what a woman is, which apparently our political elites don't, how do we maintain, and you mentioned them earlier, the safe spaces for women, toilets, changing rooms, um, women's refuges, um, uh, women's prisons. If we can't identify you're a man, you're a woman, and the relevant thing not being what they feel on a Wednesday afternoon, but whether or not they are biologically a man or a woman, um, if you can't identify them, how do you protect those single uh, sex spaces? No, that's the thing is I'm, I'm not entirely sure how you, um, you know, really? how you, you can really fundamentally easy. replace these things. I mean, I mean, for example, I know, um, you know, lots of trans women um, who, you know, who you wouldn't be aware that they were trans women. I know trans men so what? that you would not be aware that they were trans so men. I mean, I mean, I don't exactly know, um, you know, how you would intend, you know, to police toilets or, or police changing rooms. We I mean, I'm glad you're planning to have somebody to, to stand there and inspect people's genitalia, for example. That's not what anyone's I, you know, asking. I, I, really, I really don't understand how, you, how that would be working. Now, I, don't think that, I don't think anyone is remotely suggesting that. That's one of the silly things that people suggest. We actually police these things already because if you're in a pub and a bloke walks into the girls, the, the ladies' toilet, there will be an awful lot of shouting by men and women to get them out oh, there. That's course the there norm. Of course there would be, because that would be the norm. But, but for example, you know, um, if there was a female transitioning to male... Um, no, no, a female a can't male transition to male. male. You, you can't... No, no, that, female is I'm a biological sure term. It's not possible. why they were in the female type. Oh. Austin... Do you think so? No, I... I, I know so. Austin, Sheridan, we'll have to leave it there. Time's against us. I hope you'll come on again. I, I, when, when this inevitably, when the proverbial inevitably hits the fan, I hope you'll come on again on this. Former SNP councillor, uh, Austin Sheridan, thank you so much.